Hey, what's up guys? So finally, I've come around to make a new video, a new improved version of the car video that everybody's been asking about. Everybody's crazy because the car doesn't work, they have issues with the first video, so I finally um, come around to make this video. So if you're coming from the first video, um, it's basically, it's on the same concept and everything, but um, I basically modified the script and uh it works i guess better now and you can use it with the unity car and i'm going to show you how you can also exit the car i'm um, basically showing you functionality over here and uh it's a cool effect here because when you're um when you exit the car while you're um in it it just uh, keeps going forward so it's a pretty cool concept it it can it's very simple to do and implement and i'm going to show you how to do it so um, let's go to our scripts, let me just find them, uh, scripts, and uh, as you can see I literally uh, copied the enter vehicle script, I've just modified it, and the new modified version is going to be up for grabs, you can download it, you can use it, you can modify it, you can do whatever you want with it, um, as long as you, I hope you read the script and maybe learn a thing or two from it, because uh, the goal of these videos is for you guys to actually learn something and uh, maybe be able to make it yourself in the future. So here's the script. Uh, wait, let me just see. Enter vehicle. All right. So basically, um, because we're using the Unity car, um, we're gonna want to access the standard assets uh, scripts, the vehicle scripts. So we use that by uh, putting using Unity standard assets vehicles car over here. We have a bool that tests whether we're in the vehicle or not. The car user control, the, that's the vehicle script that we are going to enable and disable. The GUI object that we're going to enable and disable when we enter the car. and uh, Or the E button that prompts us to click it so we can um, enter or exit the vehicle. And um, game object player. So this is our player. Basically, vehicle start is get component user control. So basically, if you're using the Unity um, standard assets vehicle, if you set it up, if you've done everything, you can drive it around. You're, you're gonna have to have the script on it and uh, the player we find the a game object with the tag player I'm sorry ta your player object has to be tagged player this can also be used with the third person controller and the first person controller or your custom controller so just have to you just have to ha have a tagged player the GUI object is false because we do not want we do not want to see the press E until we get near the car. You, you, if you don't want to have the GUI object at all, you can just delete everything that has um, something to do with the GUI object. So on trigger stays. So it, it detects if the thing that entered the trigger. Um, I'll show you how to set the trigger later. So basically, if the thing that's in the trigger is the player, and in vehicle. So if we're not in the vehicle, the GUI object dot set active is true. So we can uh, it prompts us to press E and uh, enter the vehicle. And if we press E while we're still on the trigger, um, we um, entered the car. So the GUI object just is not active anymore because we're already in the car. The player dot transform dot parent is the vehicle. So basically it's going to follow the vehicle around even though it's disabled because we here we disable it. The vehicle script dot enabled is true because we want to be able to drive the car and in vehicle is true. Now when we exit the trigger, um, we just set the GUI object that's active false so we don't see the um, press E all the time. So basically in the update function I say if I'm in the vehicle so and I press F, you can change this to whatever keys you want. So if I'm in the vehicle and I press F, um, I'm going to exit the vehicle, so the vehicle script that enabled is false, but it's still going to keep going forward, which is pretty cool. Uh, Player.setActive is true, um, so we're playing as the player again, the transform the parent is null, and in vehicle is false, so you can enter the vehicle again. It's a pretty uh, simple way to, I guess, um, make the vehicle. I've set the least amount of, um, I guess, uh, um, the things that you have to sign in the inspector so it's easy for you. Basically you have to just set the GUI object. Um, if if you're not using a GUI object you don't even have to do that. But basically for it to display the E button you have to go game object, UI, create a text, image, whatever. Um, you can name it whatever. So it's basically it's basically here a text that uh, I said uh, it's called E. I set the anchor points on the lowest part because it's if it, if this is our screen, it's gonna be 
um, it's gonna be on the bottom of the screen so we don't want it to stretch out or anything so basically just the uh, anchors or the anchor preset is the bottom one this is not a video about the anchors if you need help with the GUI I can make a video about that but not right now um, uh, another thing is so uh, yeah so basically uh, if you want to enter the or exit the vehicle we as you know I've uh, said about the I've talked about a trigger that we trigger when we enter the vehicle and uh, that trigger needs to be um, we have to add it because we don't have one over here we have all of these little smaller triggers but we're not using those they're just the vehicle triggers that um, the standard uh, the standard asset car controller uses so you just go ahead click on the car get a component physics and add a box collider um, so basically when you add the box collider it's literally not gonna take up any space of the box uh, any, uh, no, it's not gonna take a lot of space up so it's basically gonna be inside the car so and we cannot access it because the car is blocking our way so um, I, I don't know if you can see but um, let me just say edit so yeah so as you can see this big box so this biggest box is the box that we use to um, um, check if we're in the range to enter the car or not so basically when you add the box collider you click edit collider or you can uh, change the size and the values over here so you make it a bit bigger so the player can uh, walk in so basically that so we can trigger the um, availability of entering the car and also um, you're on your car controller on your car you're gonna have this car controller script and your car user control script you're gonna want to disable the user control script on the beginning um, that's pretty much it so hopefully this is gonna work I've made it so it's much so it's much more simple to implement and uh, it's really simple so if you're gonna for example want different cars more cars I haven't tested it with multiple cars um, but um, I it's I think you can do it um, exactly the same uh, you can I you probably can do it with more cars because it's not set to a selected uh, certain car it's just because every car that has the enter vehicle script it's gonna work on itself not on all of them together and uh, yeah so thank you guys for watching this video um, if it helped you click the like button because I finally got around to reworking the first car video this one is much more easier and I think it's is it's gonna be of a much bigger use to you guys so um, I guess subscribe for future videos and uh, leave me a comment on um, if it worked, if it helped you or not, and uh, I'll see you next time.